So I've got this entire world to explore down there, and I was worried since I'm alone, but turns out I brought my dogs with me. All right, I'll see you. Oh God, they're actually leaving. Really? No help, no support? All right. As I am a survival game expert, gathering stone, bushes, and logs is just simply second nature to me. Do I hear two steps of footsteps right now? What? Bad piggy, down. Wow, really hurt that bad, huh? Oh no, it's your son. I'll kill him too, I don't care. What's the whole family? Bad pig, don't avenge. What can I get? Oh, I can keep your carcass. Bruh. Don't mind if I do. Dude, look at all of this. What do you think that weird spire is? You know what? Doesn't matter. Let me get my research station down. I see, it's like quest and stuff. I need to build 12 foundations and an upgrade station and I get some money. I'm on it. Let's go right there. And I'm out of wood already. It's fine, getting wood has never been a problem. Uh -huh. Especially in this dense of a forest. Bad boy, jeez, I've killed five of these things. It's like an infestation. Make it six. Wow, this upgrade station takes a lot of space. Fine, we can just smack it down. What can I do here? Oh, I've learned how to make tools, huh? Give me an ax, so I can just take down entire trees now. Cool. Oh yeah, now that I've done this, quest completed. What's next? Looks like I need to gather up a hundred wood, then coal, then iron. Oh my gosh, there's so much. Pretty clear I'll need a stone pick and shovel then. Oh, looks like I got a hundred wood. Perfect. That's another quest completed. It gave me a navigator. Locate ores under the surface. How does this work? I'm assuming it means there's a lot of coal underneath me because it's kind of hammering away. Oh yeah, what do you know? There's some coal right here. You got like a whole vein of it. This is sick. Don't I need like 20 of this stuff? Keep breaking. It's the dwarven blood in me, I guess, that makes me so efficient at being a miner. Or the extreme luck I have. <laughs> One of the two. Can I uh fill this in, please? Is that the shovel's not actually used for digging dirt? Uh, it's for repairing the messes you've made. Like so. Hey, freaky dwarf guy. I got your coal, which gave me a whole bunch of that. What do I need next? Iron? It's always something, huh? So what, do I just... Iron ore? Just keep banging that hammer until I get there, buddy. Hang on. Oh, also hang on. Enemies. Stupid boars. Dude, my inventory is going to be full. I can't just only carry boar carcass. Okay, we're getting closer. We're getting closer. We're getting further away. We're getting further away somehow. How do I keep getting further away? Oh, now we're on it. Now we're on it. Yep. Right here at our feet. Iron. Iron. Dude, look at this. Look at how deep this goes. I've learned if I just tap once and let my like animation finish, I can tap again and mine much faster. And look at this beauty. Iron, iron, come here. Come to me. Come on. We're going to make better tools. Look at just how much faster mining is. This looks like a giant piece of poop. This looks like a literal giant in his piece of poop. That's so gross. I mean, I'm taking it though. That's what I need for my upgrades. How much iron am I at currently? Dude, I'm about to be over 100. My inventory literally will be full. I right, trash some boar carcass. I feel like I found like three iron deposits right next to each other. So I'm just ending up with so much more than I originally think I was supposed to get. Oh yeah, 142 iron. That's looking good. Wait, this defense? I can make turrets? For why? Uh, well, I clearly need to uh, upgrade my space a bit here because I see there's like a research station comes pre-equipped with yet another dwarf. Let me guess. Yeah, you teach me how to make iron smelting. Dude, it costs money? All right. Auto farm? That sounds kind of helpful. What is this? Steam powered drill? Dude, you can like automate a whole bunch of stuff, huh? Unfortunately, I don't have the funds for all that yet. All right, smelt all of this iron ore, please. Okay, so it also looks like I need 20 iron cogs and the upgrade station too before I can even make use of this iron and make my iron tools, which means I need 3,000 bucks. Actually, 4,250. Oh, God. Guess that's where the great news of doing quest comes in at. Here, I've got my wee old blacksmith. Oh, which is teaching me how to make oceans and stuff. Okay. But it also, you know, gives me money when I complete that. Portable iron drill? Color me intrigued. Okay, well, despite what I said, I actually need more iron, which, am I on iron ore? That still looks like coal. I swear my navigator said I was right on top of iron. Okay, it wasn't broken. It just was very deep in the earth. More iron. Give me it. It appears I need a lot of iron cogs. Oh, what do you know? There's coal here too. Might as well grab that while I'm here. Gotta smelt the iron after all. I feel like I hear like six pigs right above me. Oh no, one made it in. Fine, buddy. Enjoy your personal prison. What? Ah, where are you? Come here. We'll settle it. Where'd you go? Yeah, no one gets out of my hole of despair, idiot. Stupid boar, look at your face. I think I reacted normally to that. And yep, nope, never mind. I came back. Yes, I have enough iron. 
placed a king's market down. Now I can sell these carcasses for a bunch of money. What else do you sell, buddy? Fortress key, gun, and a speed rune. That's very expensive. Okay, so what am I sitting at right now then? 1,400 bucks. I'm gonna add a bunch more iron in here and then sell the stack. That puts me at just about 2K. Hang on, I gotta buy back all the iron that I just sold. Complete this quest, then sell the iron again. See, look, now I'm at 2,500. Okay, so now I'm capable of buying the portable ore drill. So how does this thing work? Oh, it's just kind of like in the ground right now. Is there like coal in here still that I missed or? I don't know, it keeps making me try and put it in the ground. I mean, I'll just place it down at least. You need some fuel? Hang on real quick. Before I put fuel into that, I believe this friendly gentleman has a quest for two grand. That's completed. So did I do all the basic starting ones? Yes, I did. All right there, go crazy. This isn't even mining anything. Am I stupid? Yes, sir. Try again. It's uh, you shy? I don't tell you what, I'm going with it's broken and it's not my fault either. I didn't do anything wrong. It's it's not my fault this time, please. Help me out of this hole, someone. I'm realizing there's a lot of these little towers around now. I'm also realizing that's a volcano, scary. Okay, so with all the money I got, can I get upgrade station level two now? Yes. How about manufacturing cogs? No, I need 1250. What am I at? Oh, not enough. You know what? That's okay. I'm sure I'll be able to get some soon. I'm also heading into the mysterious forest of giant trees, which I think, okay, here's some boars. Can I hit you guys with axes? Oh, they ran away, finally. Someone recognized my power. Nope, he came back. Come here, come here, come here. You're actually 40 bucks. I should get you when I have the chance. I make my business in killing. But I've noticed there's like a waypoint thing up here. The game keeps trying to tell me that I'm close to. I don't know what it is. Oh, it's the giant cave, huh? Oh, that's cool, yeah. I don't mind. What is this? Can I break it? Nope. No? Because my pickaxe is only made of stone? I don't think I got any of these things. I think I just destroyed them. Whoops. Are these like ores? These are orcs. That's kind of close. Oh, hello guys. You got 225 health. Hang on. Don't worry. This is very easy. It's called the back and forth method here. Back and forth. You got orc skull, some health potions. Thanks, buddy. Oh, little idiot stuck trying to run on the dirt. Huh? Blame your brain for giving you horrible pathing. Die. No, give me your body. Thank you. Whoa, this guy had ruby gems on him. Whoa, this cave is deep. Oh, I'm supposed to collect these earth shards. I don't think I'm actually like supposed to collect them, but that's what I can do. I see what I do with them after the fact. Not a clue. All right, well, don't worry. I found a giant iron ore deposit again. Look at that, 54 ores already. How much can I sell earth shards for? Not at all. What is this, dude? Oh, it's a tree root. I thought I just found like a green pipe on some like Mario type stuff. Maybe I'm making a mistake, but I've just been following like a giant vein of iron and coal this whole time. I think I'm about to dig my way into hell. It's fine. Dig our way out. That's the beauty of being a dwarf. Hey, where's my house? Um, yeah, I mean, I'm pretty lost, but that's fine. Oh, hey, more rubies. Whoa, goblin. Die. What do you got? More wood, skulls, health potions? I'll take it. Okay, I started trying to follow the ruby ores and it's leading me into what appears to be like a big old camp. Wait, also I think I figured it out. This is an iron deposit. Put my portable drill on, give it some coal and tell it to toggle. Kill this orc that's right here. Bring it, try again. Swing and a miss. You die now, thank you. If my theory's right, yep, that's just constantly getting me ores. You can also do it manually. All right, well, I'm just gonna let that do its thing and leave. I wanna say my house is this direction. I don't actually know. Oh, yes, I see it. I knew there was an advantage to- Ooh! I was gonna say the building on top of a giant hill, but then I got interrupted. God, I need to figure out how to make that gun now. Honey, I'm home. Let's go ahead, I'll just sell these boar carcasses, these ruby gems. Here in one furnace, I'll throw 100 iron ore. In another furnace, I'll throw 100 iron ore. Why does that, oh, I gotta select it, whoops. It's only 1250 for iron processing. Don't I literally just need like two more bucks? Here, sell all of that, then iron processing unlocked. Should let me make iron cogs now, which it looks like it's two iron turns into one cog. I guess that makes sense. So I just need like 36 iron or something, and then I can start to make my better tools. I like the sounds of that. I also really want to go over to one of those like giant towers and figure out what's up with them. The only thing is I'm a little worried my weaponry is not going to be up to date, but then, hey, I get a mace at level two too. Well, good thing I have a plethora of this stuff smelting, huh? God, I keep forgetting that I can't take it if I don't have my inventory open. Excuse me, sir. Iron. Gold. Craft? Does that work? Answer, yes. Am I hearing a little hog down here somewhere? I can't really see. Is that you? 
Oh, yeah. Wow. That's... Huh. Well, I enjoyed that flare while it lasted. Okay, stop right there, though. Oh, never mind. You're you taking one more. That's weird. Just because I want to upgrade into level two and see what I need for this. Oh, yeah. The mace needs iron. Glad I stopped. Crank the mace out. Crank the iron pickaxe out. And then I need five more iron ingots to make a better axe, but I believe I have those. Single-sided axe created, and wow, to make the next level of navigator, I need 20 iron cogs and 20 copper ingots. Well, let's get everything upgraded in here, and then sell, sell, sell. Wait, can I not sell this stuff? Permanently trash, permanently trash, permanently trash. Does the one-sided axe do damage also? Oh yeah, it did, what, 35, I think? Um, do you not chop trees, though? Whoops. Okay, I need like another enemy somewhere to test a mace. If the axe is 35, how much does the bludgeoning tool do? Ah, there you are. Swing. Wow, you're dead. Here, doggy, you're dead. Oh, no. Oh, oh, that's so violent. I wonder if we're going to see him again. Yep, there he goes. All right, I got to remember the volcano is right there relative to my position. If I just go the other direction, I'll find my house. But for now, I want to go towards one of these spires and check it out. I've got the upgraded mace, and I also have an upgraded pickaxe. So I'm assuming that'll be good. What the hell is this thing? Oh, blah, blah, blah words. How are these guys mad at me? I wasn't even in their cave. That's fine. Bring it. Yeah, take 50 damage to the head, idiot. One, two, murdered. One, two. Oh, you have a bit more than 100 health. Not enough, though. What? How did I kill that guy? There we go. I think I'm being surrounded, but that's fine because I'm murdering all of them so much faster. Okay, that guy got a lot of really good hits on me. Hey, bad goblin. No sneaking up on me while I'm digging through this cave. What the hell did I just say? Oh my gosh, it's like a whole armada of them. Wow, I wasn't aware I could hit multiple enemies. Dude, what a hole. Can I like break this anvil and get, yeah, they gave me iron. Great gives me wood. Oh, cool. It's also like beautiful and majestic. Oh, cool, coal deposit. The only thing that I'm like experiencing right now though that's kind of concerning me is I don't know what ore is supposed to be in here that I like need. Although I did just find a copper deposit and that is new. Uh, however, it doesn't look like these people want me to be able to get it. Bad armada of enemies. Go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep. Die, die, die. The copper deposit only has 10,000 health as opposed to 50,000. Is this like really that much rare? I bet it's used in a lot more of the automation aspect at least. Also, you wanna see how much faster this like quick mining thing is? I'm just gonna hold the button down and you can see that I'm hitting like in this slow repetition. And then doing it the new way is unironically like twice as fast. Also, I've got 200 copper ore. It's probably good for right now, right? What is this? Oh, another copper deposit. No, he's... Oh, I still managed to get a skull. Okay, is there supposed to be something secretive down here then? No, I started to go way down and now I'm going back up and now I'm being swarmed by goblins. It's always something, man. Oh, wait, are these emeralds? New stuff. New stuff. New stuff. Give me the emerald ore. Give me the ruby ore. Holy crap. I hear 15 steps right behind me. Look at this like weird parkour I have to, I messed up. Is this a boss chamber, dude? What is these things? Little goblin guy, whoa, 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 whoa. Yo, his name is Orc Boss. Looks like his AI is a little goofy. He doesn't really track me super well. Okay, he hits pretty hard though. Health potion. Come on, he just needs one more bop to him. Oh, I missed. Oh, he killed his own allies. <laughs> Idiot, I've killed your king. Leave me alone. What's the king have? Six gold ingots, a large orc skull, and some money. Yeah, that's pretty helpful. Is there anything in here? Uh, just a bunch of destroyed stuff. What's the point of that, man? Whoa! And then I found like a goblin camp. Oh, with a, a, a giant guy. An ogre, huh? Oh, I got stuck on wood. Oh, I'm dead. Dude, there was an orc boss and an ogre in the same area? How does that work? Did I lose any of my stuff? No, really? I thought for sure that was gonna be a mechanic. Okay, well, I can't really do anything because I just still need more money, but I could like sell the gold, all of my copper that I have, stone, these rubies, and I could unlock copper smelting. Now there is a layer of irony that I don't have copper anymore to smelt, but I'd say that is some great progress made. I'll tell you what, if you want to see more of this game, leave me a comment letting me know. The dev did send me an early access key, so huge thank you to them. And if you're interested in Orbound, I'd recommend joining the Discord. That way you can get the first little news when the public demo goes live, and also be at the forefront for giving feedback and such. But anyways, thanks so much for watching. I'll see ya.